We're here at the NIAB Open Day site here in Cambridge, just looking at trial plots coming up to their T1 growth stage. These are about growth stage 31, 32, and so we're really looking for yellow rust and septoria control. These are some of our breeding lines that have been derived from Robigus parents, and not surprisingly, you can see masses of yellow rust in these. These are very, very susceptible lines, but we also have lines here that are very resistant, even from the same parents. But these very, very susceptible lines are really struggling to maintain their, their growth under this pressure of yellow rust. We're here in the variety plots now, and there are clear differences here between the variety susceptibility to yellow rust. I'm sat between two contrasting plots here. This one is full of yellow rust, and yet this has a rating of 8 for adult plant resistance. And this plot is a 9. Now clearly this one is very resistant at the moment, hardly any yellow rust to be seen. But this variety is susceptible at this stage, at the seedling stage. And we would expect this later on to grow away from this yellow rust and it would show its true adult plant resistance. We're in the variety plots again here and this plot is just starting to move away. This crop is about growth stage 31, just going towards growth stage 32 and you have a mixture of yellow rust and septoria in this plot. So this is a typical um, stage where you would be considering your T1 timing and the T1 timing for this would have to take account of both the yellow rust and the septoria. This variety is another 8 for yellow rust so you'd expect it to grow away from the rust but anything that you're using for the septoria control, the triazole or an SDHI would more than take care of the yellow rust.